What up, good people? It's the SMT. Uh, not so beautiful day, kind of rainy here in the CLE. We're actually in Columbia Station, and we have a brand new 5G Plus AT&T N77 C-Band upgrade. Guys, I, I'm going to do a follow-up video to show you guys the gear. It's just rainy, and I can't really get a good picture or whatever. Uh, but they literally did this upgrade in like two days. I don't know what happened. It's my usual drive to work. And I don't know, like Friday, the upgrade wasn't there. I was driving to work Monday and it was done. Now it wasn't on. It took about a week to get turned on. Maybe like seven or eight days. Uh, but it's on. And what I want to do for you guys is I want to share with you how it's performing. And it's really, really good. Let me give you guys the technical breakdown. All right, what you have is 40 megahertz of N77. It's 3.7 gigahertz, it's the C-band. And then you have a combination of probably maybe about 40 megahertz or 45 megahertz of LTE. If it's combining all their LTE carriers, like 10 megahertz of band 14 or possibly 15 megahertz of band 12, then you also get 20 of band 2 and 20 of AWS. So actually, now that I think about it, they might be over 50 megahertz of LTE, which would explain why you're seeing such good speeds here. Very comparable to what you see from Verizon, which has 60 megahertz of the N77 C-band. All right, so the ping time at 22 milliseconds, the jitter at 29 milliseconds. We've got 13% loss. That's a bit concerning. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt because it is a brand new site, newly upgraded. We'll see if that improves over time. 548 on the downlink. 43 megabits on the uplink. I'll tell you guys something about this test, and I'm going to run another one. If this is what AT&T is going to be doing, I think a lot of you are about to be really happy. All right, so I've been really impressed with Ryzen's pace and how they're upgrading a lot of sites. Sheesh, look at this. Um, it's impressive what Verizon is doing, but Verizon has been experiencing a couple of things that have kept their upgrades from happening and getting turned on, like, Fiber transport, you know, the backhaul to the sites needing upgrading. Uh, some of the connections and some of the CBRS stuff has kind of slowed them down a bit. All right, here's another test for you guys. 550 down, 43 up, 27 ping, 6 millisecond jitter. No loss on this speed test. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a fast.com for you guys here. And by the way, the plan itself, uh, this is AT&T Elite. So just to give you guys an idea of the plan. Anyways, um, so Verizon has had a couple of issues in the process of getting their upgrades done. Most of them have gone pretty pretty straightforward, but they have had a couple of issues on a couple of sites that have taken weeks, and in some cases months, to get fully upgraded and turned on. For each of the like four, five, maybe six AT&T Plus, uh, 5G Plus sites I've tested so far, they're getting built quickly and they're getting turned on even faster. So um, just to kind of throw that factor in there, I think a lot of you are going to be pleasantly surprised with the build in your area. All right, 520 down. What do we got? 36 on the up, 27 ping as I connect to a Chicago server. All right, so that's the fast.com there. Pretty good, pretty impressive. Uh, let's go ahead and do an nperf test. And we'll see what it could handle on the speed test as well as, like, the... They put them through the paces on, like, the usage. All right, so it'll do, like, a zoom. It'll do Wikipedia, some browsing, some video playback. It'll do the whole thing. All right, so this is a pretty good test. And we're... I mean, we're technically in peak time, right? 6.50 in the p.m. I don't know when peak would technically end. You guys can comment down below when you think peak is. <laughs> when it ends, that window. Uh, but that's pretty daggone good. That's really good. All right, so uh, there it's doing the Google test, Facebook, Amazon, Zoom, and then it does Wikipedia. Seems to be scoring pretty well. What I'll do for you all is I'm actually going to I'm gonna test a couple more things for you guys. I've got my first net line with me. We'll test the LT and see how that does and compare them. I think that'll be a good comparison because as of right now, I don't think the C-band N77 connects for FirstNet. I think it's just on AT&T proper. 
All right, that's that's good. We got 95 plus percent on the 360p video. Let's see the 720p test here, and then it'll do the 1080p. And you guys saw the fast.com. It's doing plenty 4K, all things 4K. All right, we got 93 on the 720p. Let's see what the 1080p does here. 91, 92%. Good stuff. So browsing 82, streaming 93. We got a peak 566 down, uh, 44 on the up, and a 21 ping. Really, really good stuff. All right, so what we'll do is um, let's go ahead and speed test the first net, and let's see what that's about. We'll see what the LTE is doing here. We'll see what this upgrade is about. And you'll see why, like, I don't know, man. Unless you're connected to CBRS on Verizon, the LT is amazing on AT&T. Really, that's the only thing that's probably faster than what AT&T is doing. All right, so you will see it's on first net there. 227 down. We got about 19 up. Uh, what do we got for ping? 39. We've got a jitter of about 6 milliseconds. All right, so you see it does pay to be on the 5G. All right, let's go ahead and run a fast.com. Let's see how the LT is performing there. Sheesh, man. First net's really good, guys. If you qualify, it is definitely worth your consideration. The unfortunate thing is that, you know, my plan, even though 5G is enabled and it's on my plan, they're not doing the C-band yet. The N77, I don't think it works on first net yet. Should have picked it up, and it's not. I'll check the settings again. And, oh, by the way, the previous test on the other, on the iPhone 13 Pro. By the way, this is the iPhone 12 Pro testing here. So 220 down on the LTE. Looks like we got about 16 on the uplink. 43 millisecond jitter. Yeah, much better on the on the N77. See, 5G does make a difference. This is one of those instances where you you got to say you got to call spade a spade. The 5G is better than the LTE for sure. Uh, let's run a... Do I have Nperf on here? I don't know if I do. I might. I don't know. Got Nperf. Oh, we do have Nperf. Okay. All right, let's try the Nperf test. Let's see how it does on LTE. Since we kind of got this benchmark here, 139,000 on the endpoints, 82 browsing, 93 streaming, and then we got 566 down and 44 up with 21 millisecond ping. So we'll compare that, and uh, I'll go ahead and launch that test for you guys. And we'll see how it does on the LTE on FirstNet. Turned out to be kind of a long video, but I do want to comprehensively test it. And I'm not sure how much of a difference the phones make. The iPhone 12 Pro is a perfectly capable device with all the same band compatibility and same same type of performance, I think. I can't really find much of a difference. All right, it's going to run the video testing now after the speed test there. Oh, snap, the homie Carlos. Oh, man, I'm going to watch that Xfinity mobile testing. Big shout out to Carlos. I'll actually link his uh, his video for that here in the description. Yep. Yep, we're doing it here. Very nice. All right now it's going to run the 360p, 720p, and 1080p video test. We'll see how it does. All right, remember, we're in the evening, peak time. This is on LTE. After doing the comparison with the 5G Plus, we'll see FirstNet versus AT&T Elite. And this is Business Elite. Yo. <laughs> wow. 95 on the 360p, almost 93 on the 720p, and almost 92. Wow, it's going to score similarly, guys. Oh. Okay, so streaming, it's almost the same. So 93.39% versus 93.50 on the N77. But look at the browsing difference. Wow, it really makes a difference. All right, so the downlink speed is very different. 317 by th uh, 19 on the LTE versus 5 566 by 45. Ping time also reduced by like 13 milliseconds. And then the browsing difference is, is pretty notable. The performance rating much higher on the N77. And this is 
this is the highest QCI you can get. This is first net. You can't beat that. So you couldn't say it's like Deprio. All right, end points, the ner end, uh, end perf points, 112,000 on the LT and 139,000 on the 5G. So there you guys have it. I thought I'd do some thorough testing. Uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check, and I don't know if it's definitely the case or not. I'm going to run another test here on Ookla. I'm going to go ahead and check to see if my 5G enable does anything. The last time I checked, uh, there was nothing going on. So, But I'll, I'll try anyways. I'll see if the 5G turns on. All right, let's see here. 5G on. Data mode will do a lot more data on 5G. All right, 559 down, 43 up on this next test. 18 millisecond ping. And looks like 15 millisecond jitter, no loss. All right, so, all right, I just turned 5G on on this phone. There is 5G, and that's that's the DSS. Uh, we don't have the dedicated band 5 5G. Uh, all we have is DSS here. And you'll see it is not N77. So not enabled on FirstNet, unfortunately. No C-band on FirstNet. At least not in my market, not that I know of. I'll do some digging around. I'm going to ask some questions. I'll talk to some people. I'll see if that's coming down the pipeline soon and when we can expect that. I'll try to get you guys that information. But that's not bad for low band 5G, I guess. I mean, it ain't beating that, right? Can't beat that. All right, 190 down, 33 on the up, 39 ping, 3 millisecond jitter. And I don't see any loss measured, I don't think. Anyways, what do you guys think of the testing? I, I did a lot here, right? I tested a lot of stuff. N77 C-band. Uh, we tested LTE. We tested FirstNet. We tested AT&T Business Elite. We tested the iPhones, the 12 Pro, the 13 Pro. And we did NPERF. And we did Ookla. And we did Fast.com. If you appreciate that really comprehensive testing, you let me know by liking this video and commenting down below. I appreciate the engagement. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this and uh, let me know what you guys want to see any comparison videos i can do some verizon c-band versus at&t c-band versus t-mobile n41 5g uc they're all on that same site i'm going to probably do a follow-up for you guys all right but um i'll definitely let you guys know and big shout out to bg grizzly in the house send me over the dm holla at your boy man all right guys have a great day see you on the next one peace